I was, uh, I was trolling your Twitter account and I saw somebody, and I'll, I'll give you a quote here. Keep trolling, trolling, trolling. Trolling, trolling. The quote was, I would legit pay cash money to see Ryan Adams do stand-up. <laughs> Wait, where's my wallet? I got some singles. I mean, I feel like, I mean, isn't that like most of like my early career is just like a stand-up st kind of comedy routine? I mean, it's like what not to do or something. I don't know. You ever know. thought about that, though? No. No? You know, I mean, I'm self-tortured enough. I don't need to <laughs> get into stand-up comedy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you be I've been really to some dark that. stuff, but I, not that dark. So you had to, like, I think you had to scale back on some of the electric shows a, a few years back. H how do you, how did you overcome that? How do you stay healthy on the road now? You're doing all these shows. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I should write a, I should write a book about that, about how to stay healthy on the road. I mean, yeah. you, you don't, it's a, it's really like a, what happens is, is you go on the road and you make this plan about staying healthy. Uh, but I imagine it's like, um, like let's say if like you were like, I'm gonna get in a, I'm gonna do this thing where I go in the submarine for like a year, and you're like, I'm gonna read all these books. Or it's like my friends when they go like on a, they like they like go on like a long flight. They're like, yeah, they like bring like War and Peace or something. Like they're gonna read that, and like it's not gonna happen. Like it really isn't. Like if there's like any in-flight entertainment, like. They're just gonna watch like Lord of the Rings again or something like. like See, that's just... what I mean about the stand-up, right? I mean, it's just no, but like... it's just, but that's that, but that's legit though. That's what happens. It's so like you make you can make plans. Yeah. To like you know sort of become this you know healthy per you know per I mean I don't know like Coldplay look healthy though but. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but I mean, isn't he like an entomologist or something? Like does study insects or something? I don't know. Anyway, he's obviously like they're obviously very smart people. They figured it out. But for the most part, what happens is you get on like this submarine on wheels, and like about two in the morning, after some kind of like vape duel session, you're like, <laughs> um, you're like asking the driver like, hey, could you stop at this truck stop? Because we want to check out some kind of brownie situation. And, <laughs> and you do that for about a year, and then they yank you off the road. <laughs> It's just what happens, you know, and then, and then you, uh, yeah, and then you switch to broccoli. <laughs> it's really broccoli just or kale or something. Or? I mean, in my experience, that's what happens. Right. He is Ryan Adams, and uh, for those of you listening on the radio, we got one final song before we say goodnight, uh, but we're not done, so don't worry. Go to iHeartRadio's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash iHeartRadio. We got lots. <laughs> YouTube. We got lots more Ryan Adams performing live from the iHeartRadio. Did you sell your skateboard to buy your first guitar? Uh, I traded it and for, uh, it was supposed to be the skateboard plus $75 cash. And I felt bad about this for a long time, but then I thought, well, I mean, he obviously didn't get paid, but I mean, he made the deal with me who clearly did not have any cash <laughs> or access to cash. And the skateboard I was using was something that someone else shredded and I got as a leftover, so, um, you know. And also the... The guy was like super into this band called, and they're fine, so it's not a diss, but I'm just saying like his favorite band, like he had two separate wall size posters of Pretty Boy Floyd. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm talking, I mean like, they, like that's a lot of. Like huge posters. No man, I'm just talking about the content, the people in Pretty Boy Floyd were in that band. Like, if you were in, like, Enough's Enough, you could say, like, well, we got really stoned, and, like, we're in the hair metal. <laughs> but they were in, like, Pretty Boy Floyd. That's so fringe, you know? Yeah. That's, like, flat earth. That's, like, so deep. <laughs> That's, like, the flat earth of hair metal. 